Hi and welcome to this channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about IO.NET and about their ongoing Incentivast testnet. IO.NET is a new DEPIM protocol built on Solana, so it aligns very well with the current trends in crypto. They announced their Incentivast testnet this March, where everyone can provide some GPU or CPU processing units, participate in quests on Galaxy, or just be very active on the Discord channel. All of these activities are subjects for future rewards and from what I understood, those who will provide GPU or CPU processing units will get the most of them. And this is exactly what we will do in this video. We will create our one worker. But before that, I would also want to talk about their Twitter score, which is quite high for a testnet project and about their top followers, which include Multichain Capital, Coinbase, Delphi Digital, Fabric Ventures, Pantera Capital and Eager Capital. So quite a strong team behind it. According to Dropstamp, this project has raised around 30 million from some of the previously mentioned bakers, which is quite a number. Another very important thing to mention is that not all the GPUs and CPUs are allowed for the network. For example, here is the list for allowed GPUs, which are all from Nvidia, and here are the list for CPUs, which are from Apple and the one from AMD. And as previously mentioned, we will run our server on a CPU from this allowed list. And again, I want to point to the fact that this project will have its testnet from March 1st to 28th of April. And if all the previously mentioned things make you think that you want to install the worker, here comes the next part where we do exactly that. The cheapest server that I found, which aligns with all the requirements from the project, is from Hario Cloud, which costs around $15 a month. Uh, the price is in rubles here, but it doesn't matter because you can pay with crypto. And if you decide to rent the server with Hario Cloud, the link will be in the description for 5% cashback. Also, when buying, make sure that you select Ubuntu 2004. When the server is ready, go to cloud.io.net and check the Workers tab. The link will also be in the description. Then click on Create New Worker, select the Linux OS, uh, make io.net as your provider, give a name for your worker, and then click on CPU worker. Next, you will have a few commands that you need to run in your VPS. After you are finished, you can run docker ps and check if the containers are running. Also, wait for 5 minutes until the server is connected to the dashboard and then click to view the worker. At the start, everything will be gray. However, I can show you my node that runs for more than 10 days and this is uh, the result that you can expect. With that said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.